hello guys welcome back to AppSheet tutorial so in this video we're going to continue our column constraint editable if so in our previous video we saw about the column constraints of valid if and required if you can check the links i have given in the description and in this video we're going to see about the editable if so basically editable if means uh, whether you can able to edit the particular field of the column or not so in this video we're going to see a demo for using the admins and non-admins so we're going to create a small use case with some profile data there we're going to fetch the user contact details only admin can able to edit if, if it's a non-admin means he has not the access to edit that profile okay so for this we first add the data table in our tables so if you are new to this channel just check out the app sheet expression playlist so that you will understand the basic important expressions so now we'll add a table so we use already we have the users table so we'll just use this table to explain this valid if in the practical demo so go to the users sheet so here we mentioned overall admin so admin the value is true so i have given this email id as admin and this as non-admin so based on this user we are going to give the valid column constraint okay only for admins making to editable so for that we will use the customer database or okay, so let's create a profile Here, I am giving some example email ID. So we can we can give a contact number. Another name something ABC. Random number. So here, what we are going to do is, so we are going to select this profile, and uh, only the admins can able to edit this contact number detail. Okay, so let's add this table. Profile table. Now the profile got added. So what we're going to do is say let's add another table call let's use this uh, customer data so by this we're going to fetch the profile from this contact okay now or else we'll create another sheet Let's edit the sheet and edit it. So here I'm going to remove this and this data. Select customer email.
in, in the customer is regenerate the structure since we have changed all the data we need to regenerate let's delete this virtual columns let's make this a ref type and I'm going to reference this for the profile and the UX let's add the customer data most oh since we have already let customer data in that simplify and delete this I'm saving Now the customer, whatever the email ID selected, the name and contact number should get auto populated. Right? For that, we need to remove this unique ID. And this is a function of email ID to go here. And uh, for the customer name, we're going to use the lookup function. lookup function so the syntax of lookup function is lookup value the table name column and written column okay so lookup value the table name is the profile which we have created in table and the lookup value should be whatever that email id which we have given in the customer email so this will customize and the table name is profile and the lookup column we're going to look up the column with email ID. And the return column will be the name. Okay. So basically, lookup function. What does it mean? The in the profile table, we are going to match this customer ID versus the email ID. So the email ID which is going to match. So for example, if I select this email ID, this name will get returned. So the name column is the return column. So this first and third syntax is the comparison and this is the return column this is the table name which we are defining the profile and let's save this the same goes for the contact number also so we we'll just copy this one And this is a contact, so we are checking in the profile table uh, by selecting the email ID. But instead of name, we are going to enter the contact number. Right? Let's see. So we have done the expressions. Now we test it out, but I haven't given any editable if condition. So basically, the edit is if we 
and check it's non editable if we check it's editable but now first we will explain the look of com so i'm checking this here no. right. so the email ready is coming as my name itself because the name column we have given as label in the if you see the customer ID, so it's referring to profile. So the label which is given as name. So that's why here if you select the name as coming as label. Now we'll select the label also as email ID. Now we show it come as email ID. So I'm selecting the email ID. So the, the respective customer name and the contact number change so using this expression lookup expression now if i select this abc respective ABC and lookup. but now anyone can get there is no restriction for admin so now let's use this editable constraint using the admin tables users tables so we have the users Users so this is the user table. We are checking if the admin is true, then we are going to give the editable if access. So we will go to the update behavior. In the update behavior, if you see the editable is there, right? Let's use the expression for this. So this is the SR no expression. So what we are going to check is we are going to use select statement select from the table users Admin should be true. Okay. So it will give the list of user email overall admin. So now we need to use the in statement. So what does it mean? So it, this is the user email which we are using this preview as. So this email is belongs to this list means it will be come as true. This is written. So this select will give the list of user emails from the user table who are all admins. Okay. So let's see. So only these users can able to edit this column contact number. I'm selecting this user now. I'm able to edit because I'm an admin. Now, if I change this to this user email, apply. Now this is a non-admin user, we can't able to edit the contact. Okay. So this is the use case of editable link. So you can use the so using the SRM expressions, you can give the access to a specific set of users like admins. And okay guys, thanks for watching. If you have any doubts, just give a comment and we will see the next video we will see about the next expressions column called uh, show show if so we have already covered the showing if you have to check out the previous video 
and uh, now we will go to the list addition so we can combine the two lists and we can produce another list and list different so we'll go one by one so next video we'll see about list addition so, thanks for watching bye bye